Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Alien Noise Between the days of October 14th and November 6th, 2014, 326 mysterious noises were recorded in the deepest trench on Earth. These mysterious alien-like sounds were each about five minutes apart and were recorded over long periods of time. These calls were recorded using something known as passive acoustic ocean gliders, basically unmanned submersible vessels that can descend to amazing depths of roughly 3,300 feet. So, what in the world was making all those crazy noises in the Mariana Trench? Well, we're not really sure. Each noise lasted roughly 3.5 seconds and consisted of frequencies as low as 38 hertz, but with bursts of up to 8,000 hertz. This is an incredibly wide frequency range, one that makes the alien noise a serious mystery. There's been a lot of speculation over what the source of the noise is. Some say it belongs to a monster lurking in the Mariana Trench, some kind of great beast that's so elusive nobody has ever seen it before. However, that is not what mainstream scientists are saying. They have dismissed all claims of an alien beacon somewhere down in the sea or of a monster prowling the depths. Instead, they say the source of the noise is a very real monster, but one we are all quite familiar with. Scientists with the Hatfield Marine Science Center say the sound, which they named the Western Pacific Biotwang, is probably the call of a baleen whale. Number 9. Monsters of the Deep Considering the Mariana Trench is the deepest underwater place, we kind of expect there to be strange beings floating around in the darkness. Specifically in the darkness of Challenger Deep, which is the deepest point of the trench, reaching 35,876 feet below the surface. That's about seven miles down. And to put into context just how deep that really is, most places in the ocean only descend to about 12,000 feet. The Mariana Trench is so deep that if you were to turn Mount Everest upside down and try to poke the bottom, you wouldn't even come close. The earliest descent into the trench with humans was in the 1960s with Don Walsh and Jacques Picard, and since then, there have only been three more expeditions. Considering that during these descents, the researchers weren't really able to see anything unless it was directly outside their window and illuminated by their high beams, they really have no idea what's lurking down there. They did discover microbes called xenophyophores, single-celled organisms no larger than an inch. They also found some similar organisms the size of baseballs and giant isopods like a garden pill bug on steroids. Clearly, there is a lot going on down here. It makes sense that there could be some kind of kraken-like sea beast hiding in the Mariana Trench, but we just haven't seen it. We know there are crabs down there 12 feet long and ghost sharks that look like phantom fish. Seeing as we've barely explored 1% of the trench, that leaves a lot open to speculation. And there are probably some other sea creatures down there. There could be more underwater sea monsters down there. Number 8 six miles deeper. According to a new study, one which was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, scientists have discovered life beneath the Mariana Trench. Actually, they've identified life six miles underneath the floor of the ocean, deeper than the deepest place on the planet. According to these scientists, they found a hidden ecosystem buried deep inside the Earth, one that nobody's ever actually seen with their own eyes. The scientists involved in the study retrieved 46 samples of rock from a mud volcano near the Mariana Trench. The rock samples had probably originated 12 miles underneath the volcano, way down in the belly of the earth, before they were churned up and spat out by the volcano. And although, according to researcher Oliver Plumper, the team didn't actually find living microbes, they did discover traces of organic material. Specifically, they found traces of amino acids, hydrocarbons, and lipids. These three organic molecules are highly suggestive of life. However, the source of that life is totally unknown. It could be a major discovery, or it could be absolutely nothing. All we know is that six miles beneath the deepest accessible place, there are building blocks for life. There could actually be an entire ecosystem buried inside the planet, one which has been there for billions of years. And now for number seven. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Aim Sardui and Katarega Dennis. Thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel. 
If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you. Number seven, the deepest fish. At the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, in a place devoid of light, where the pressure is so intense it could crush a human body like a car driving over a tube of toothpaste, scientists have identified the deepest fish. This is the deepest dwelling fish anywhere on the planet. It lives closer to the Earth's core than any other fish or fish-like being in our world. It was discovered by a team of researchers from the University of Hawaii, along with some students from the University of Washington and Newcastle. The fish was identified 26,000 feet beneath the surface. That's about five miles down, only two miles short of the deepest point in the Mariana Trench. The fish is, quite frankly, pretty ugly. It's being called the Mariana snailfish, but its scientific name is Pseudoliparis swirae. Mackenzie Geringer, the lead author of the study, admitted the fish doesn't look very robust or strong, but it's extremely successful for this very particular environment. It's not scary and full of teeth like the anglerfish, and more resembles a slimy tadpole. But in fact, the Mariana snailfish is a sly predator. It's also the best predator and dominant species of the deep ocean that we know of. Scientists say there is not actually much food down in the Mariana Trench, and so the snailfish gets to eat whatever it wants. It has adapted to life in the trench where there are virtually no predators, and so the snailfish has thrived eating a steady diet of crustaceans. Number 6. NASA in the Trench According to estimates, 80% of the oceans on the planet remain completely unexplored. Seeing as oceans cover over 70% of our planet, we've barely even scratched the surface of what there is to find. In fact, some claim we know more about the moon than we know about our own ocean floor, and that could have something to do with why NASA is currently busy exploring the Mariana Trench. NASA is building special landing vehicles very similar to what they build for Mars missions. The biggest difference is that the vehicles they have sent to Mars have all worked better than the ones they have sent into the deepest depths of the Earth. In 2014, a submersible lander called Nereus was sent into the Kermadec Trench just off the coast of New Zealand. But when the vehicle got six miles down, it imploded like a crushed pop can. Their newest vehicle is called Orpheus, and scientists are really hoping it will work a lot better than the last one. What's truly fascinating is that if it works, Scientists will have a reliable way to comb across the bottom of every single place in the world, effectively being able to map every square inch of our planet. And even more, scientists will be able to drop these robots onto places like Europa to explore the oceans of other planets. Number 5. Crazy Underwater Creatures The Okeonos explorer spent three months mapping the sea floor back in 2016 and they recorded some of the craziest creatures from the deep sea that we've ever seen. This was one of the most successful missions to the Mariana Trench, and it really revealed just how many strange creatures are hiding down there. The Mariana Trench isn't just a big pit. It's actually shaped kind of like a crescent moon or like a big canyon scooped out of the planet. It's formed at a place where the Pacific Tectonic Plate sinks underneath the Philippine Plate. What you also might not know is that the United States of America owns the Mariana Islands, including the island of Guam, right near the trench, meaning they have dibs on the deepest place in the world. The crew on the ship used a remotely operated vehicle to take a look inside the trench. They came across a new and creepy species of jellyfish, an octopus pale as a ghost that looks almost like a floating glob of milk, and a sea sponge the size of a truck. They even found the first living ghost fish, a creature from the Aphionidae family. The fish is only about four inches long, with eyes pushed way in the back of its head because it's evolved to not even need eyes. They also found a giant sea anemone with tentacles over six feet long, weird purple worms that look like acorns, and tons of new comb jellies. Number 4. The Menace in the Trench there are a lot of small creatures roaming around in the Mariana Trench, but what about the big ones? What about a shark so big that it could swallow a great white in a single bite? There have been a lot of rumors swirling around recently about the mighty Megalodon still being alive somewhere in the ocean. Of course, this would be huge news if it turned out to be true. The Megalodon was a prehistoric beast allegedly able to grow to nearly 75 feet long. We know this existed because we have hundreds and hundreds of its teeth in museums and private collections all over the world, 
you can even find them on the beach. The Megalodon had 270 teeth, and based on their size, scientists know exactly what being bit by this thing would have looked like. Experts from the Natural History Museum say the Megalodon's bite was about 10 feet wide, or enough to swallow an entire car. The Megalodon wouldn't bite you in half, it would swallow you whole and bite your house in half. By all accounts, the Megalodon went extinct over 2 million years ago. Estimates range anywhere from 2.5 to 3.1 million years. That means there probably aren't any living in our oceans anymore. However, some conspiracy theorists do claim there are still Megalodons way down in the Mariana Trench. It's fun to think about, but actually isn't pretty scientific. The trench isn't some great wide wasteland under the sea where just anything can live. It's not big enough to house a stable population of sharks as big as cruise ships, and there isn't enough down there for them to eat. The sad truth is that, as cool as it sounds, there are probably no megalodons living in the trench. Number 3. Poisoned Crustaceans Students from the University of Aberdeen recently discovered poisoned crustaceans in the deepest hole in the ocean. Way down in the Mariana Trench, the scientists collected specimens of small, scavenging crustaceans about 21,000 to 25,000 feet deep. What they discovered is that regardless of depth and regardless of species, all the crustaceans were positively loaded with organic pollutants, also known as POPs, or POPs. This is bad news for life on the planet. It makes sense for creatures in shallow waters to be exposed to organic pollutants, but scientists weren't ready to see creatures from the deep equally as affected as creatures close to land. The issue has to do with the food chain. Pollutants like polychlorinated biphenyls, which were used between the 1930s and 1970s in paints and electronic equipment, are buried around the world in landfills, and about 35% of it is in the environment. It enters the water from a river or a coastline, and over the decades makes its way to the very bottom of the ocean. And so, even the tiny crustaceans that feast on dead matter inside the Mariana Trench are poisoned. They are tainted by the chemicals we use to paint our houses and build our cars. Number 2. Aliens in the Deep There are some pretty bizarre theories out there which claim aliens are living inside the Mariana Trench. Keep in mind, we have pretty much no real proof of this. It's just a theory. Those who believe aliens live underwater say it would be the best hiding place for them. And to be honest, that does kind of make sense. It's been said that less than 5% of the ocean has been fully explored, and so the aliens would have a pretty private place to bunker down, away from prying human eyes. There are also some weird mysteries we haven't solved, like the Baltic Sea Anomaly. This thing is a giant underwater disk that looks so much like a crashed UFO, it's hard to say it's not. It was discovered by a Swedish diving team back in 2011. There is even a huge chunk scraped out of the seabed that looks like the skid mark from when the ship crashed. But of course, scientists have dismissed it as nothing but an underwater geological formation. In the end, we have not been able to map the entirety of the ocean, and definitely not the Mariana Trench. Between the weird alien sounds, the strange life forms, and the utter blackness, it would be a perfect parking garage for spaceships. Number 1. World War II Wreckage Scientists with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, have discovered the wreckage of a B-29 flying superfortress from World War II. They discovered this piece of wreckage during a mission to explore the Mariana Trench. The American bomber was found at a very shallow depth of only about 1,000 feet, just off the coast of the northern Mariana Islands. It was from these islands that the United States Air Force had some of the most important bases during World War II. The B-29 heavy bombers frequently grouped here before they would carry out raids on the Japanese. We don't know the exact story behind this particular bomber. We know that sometimes these vehicles were lost during failed takeoff or landing attempts, and also that not a single plane that crashed near the Mariana Trench has ever been found until now. If we can't even find our own lost planes, how are we supposed to find hidden alien vessels or other phenomena hidden even deeper in the trench? Thanks for watching! What other kinds of monsters you think are lurking at the bottom of the trench? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!